we just finished episode one. For y'all, no, it's gonna be so. All of Hallow, 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 leading up to Halloween, Spooktober, every day is going to be a new video. So for y'all, this will be the very next day. I'm literally filming it right after. I am like right after. I am done. I have just finished episode one. And we're going to start episode two. Yeah, start for help. I've got an issue with that one guy whose name I don't remember because it's not important enough. It is not important enough. I, baby Glenn just left. I know who you are. Oh, I got Watch another out. good one for you. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug. You got it, boss. <laughs> Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Oh my god. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you, but if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. Yeah, him. I don't like him. I know game, and I'm a little worried about that because I don't remember anything. Tell tell We lo I love that they're back. It's been a whole three months. Hello. Damn. What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except oh. then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Uh, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was going to take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, you're right. A lot has I happened. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. You'll have to ask Lily. She's the one handling the rations. Or mishandling it, if you ask Kenny. He's just worried about his kid getting enough. I'll worry about Clementine, too. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I hope so. I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. He's got a family. He's got a wife and son to look out for. And they're safest in a big group. Going out on his own will get them all killed. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? Larry. What's the old guy's deal anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. Yeah, we don't talk about that. He thinks I'm a danger to the group and Clementine. I think he's the one putting us in danger. The way Lily worries about his health, I wouldn't be surprised if she's been skimming rations for him. And I know mm. Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Yeah. Don't knock me flat. Look, I'm not saying that I'll take every opportunity to have him get out of the group. 
I think only for Lily's sake are we holding back. Don't. Gun shadow bring walkers. Birds not worth it. <sighs> yeah, I know. I'm just really freaking hungry. Yeah. Ah! Shit! Was that Kenny? Oh, I don't know. No. Come on. How do we even mean Mark? What what has happened? Jesus Christ. Oh shit, no, no, please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher. We'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Yeah, they're okay. Get, get it off, get it off, God damn it! Get, get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? It's okay, we're not gonna hurt you. Don't listen to them, Ben. Please, just let us go. We're not a threat to you. you. Can't chill out. We'll try to help you, but you gotta shut the fuck up. Lee, this is fucked up. We gotta help. You. Please. Uh, we gotta help. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can uh -huh, get him yeah. out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. We gotta get him out of there. Oh God, thank you. Fine, but you gotta hurry. Oh. Hurry, please, hurry. Oh. Lee, this trap has been altered. There's no release latch. Oh no. Shit. Walkers. It's now or never, Lee. Please. Get me out of this. Mark, get the boys back. Kenny, keep those walkers off of me. Uh. This can't be happening. Uh. Please, so do blood. something! No, no, no! Stop! He's lost Fuck. so much blood already! Please. Please, hurry up! Get me out of this! We'll try, we'll try. Oh, oh, Jesus, those things are gonna be here soon! No. Hurry! Oh, oh God! Uh, Please, save him! Let's go! We're not getting the chain, brother. Oh, man. I'm oh, so man. sorry. Lee, it has to be now! I'm gonna have to cut you out. No, no, no! Try the trap again! Anything, please! I can't, I'm sorry. Damn it, Lee, just cut off his fucking leg! Ah. Ah. We don't have time for that! I'm sorry, but we have to go! Now! Come on. Ah. Ah. I'm so sorry. Ah. Lee, I can't keep him back forever! I'm going. Ah. Yeah, we got him, we got him, we got him. Ah. Oh God. Shit. Is he? He passed out. Can we? Can we? If he's alive, grab him and let's go. We gotta go. Good. Turnic. Turnic. That good. behind you, Travis. Oh. Come on, come on. We gotta move. And I hit the record button. Hold up. Yeah. 
It's us. It's us, please. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on! Come oh on! My God! What happened? Oh, what the hell? We don't have time to explain. Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? Can you fix him? Jesus, Ken! Lee! I, I don't know. Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? No, I don't! I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed no, was no, a no. good idea. I thought we could save his life. I'm the one that took his leg. That makes me responsible. Well, that was a stupid thing to do. We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group, right here, right now. I'm not letting well, you... Well, hang on. Person. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. <sighs> Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. But, what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You, know, oh, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. Please this isn't your own personal fighting. dictatorship. Ugh. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not gonna be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. Lily's right. This group needs someone to be a leader or we're all gonna fall apart. We can't keep fighting amongst ourselves. Great. Way to take sides, Lee. Kenny, what the hell? Look, they're here now can't change that. So, what do you want to do? They can stay until Katja finishes working on that guy. Then they have to go. I don't care what condition they're in. We just don't have enough food. Okay. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? Bye, Larry. Look, I can't do this right now. You understand what I'm dealing with? Please do me a favor. I need you to handle the rations today. Oh. Okay. That's all you're giving out? If we're gonna make what's left last the week, then this is all we can spare today. It's not gonna be enough for everyone, but just do what you think is right. The kiddos. I only have four things to give out. Okay. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Yeah. Yes, I will. Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Claire. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Give me food to Clem. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. We're gonna give cheese and crackers. Okay. A Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. If you have any more food, Duck is hungry too. Yeah, why don't we get some food? 
Hi, duck. Hey, duck. How about a little food? <laughs> we'll give we'll give the apple to duck. Oh heck yes! Is there peanut butter? No. What do you think, duck? No, probably not. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Shut up. Oh my god. Here, eat something. I'm gonna give you the jerky. Thanks, Lee. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Not at all. Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. I'm giving it to Mark. Here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? No. Come on, Larry, give it a rest. I'm sure Lee is getting pretty sick of you thinking he's a danger to the group. Is that what you told him? Yeah, that's right. And what are you going to do about it? Look, I don't care what it is, but you two have got to start trying to get along. The only thing I have to do is protect my daughter. And right now that means getting this damn wall fixed. So I would appreciate it if you two would shut up and let me get back to work. Right. Uh, some of give... these people have gone longer than me without food. Yeah, yeah. They're the ones that need it. Mark, we went hunting with Mark. Cottages are mad. Hey, Lil. Here. Thanks, Lee. I'm sorry, Carly. Well, that's it. Not such an easy job, is it? It's okay. I know you're still watching out for me. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Lee. Kenny, I know I ran out of food before- Hey, it was a tough choice. But you took care of the kids. That's what a real man does. Thanks, sure, Kenny. Yeah. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. I'm sure. You're out! What happened to my food? There's none left. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. Yeah, well, I don't see you working on that wall. Oh. Larry's got to get a grip. Lee, come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go, Kaja. But... He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. Yeah. That man you brought, I tried. But he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, come on, come on, come on, come on.
shoot it! You okay? Yeah, thanks. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your not-bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? Oh... It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. God help us. It makes sense. In those first few days, it spread so fast. Yeah. Car accidents, suicides, everything was making more of them. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... Ooh. God. Back off! Whoa, lady, relax. Me and my brother, we, we just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off, Carly. No, 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 no. You're outnumbered here. Just turn around and go back. Okay, that's fine. Uh, but but you'd really be helping out a fellow survivor if, if you could part with some extra gas before we leave. No. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? Uh... We got plenty at the dairy. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. Okay. So, uh, what are y'all thinking? You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple don't gallons remember, should power one of our generators like for a while. So, this dairy, you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. You think they'd want me for a leader? Sure. Everybody looks up to you. Well... Not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? Uh, Larry. Larry knows. Great. That can't be easy. Clementine might know. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. I lied to her, but... What exactly did happen with the Senator? You know what happened. I only know what the press was told. I don't know your story. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. What did happen? I, uh, I really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? I like that. I move around a lot. Hard to call any place home, I guess. I used to move around a bit myself, but the dairy will always be home to me. Y'all yeah. seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, who's running things over there? Uh... We work as a group. All of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. It's just stupid. How many people you got over there anyway? Uh... Enough to defend ourselves. Well, that's good. It's getting dangerous out there. Well, 
You guys know. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember. But Something not right. You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. Oh. You and Carrie are always Fucking pulling this shit. Bandits. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who oh, are they? Shh. Fuck you! Fucking you knew we were hungry, and are. you guys were keeping it there's all to yourself. There's only two Oh no, there's yeah, a you know lot what? more. We ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry, Danny and I got you covered if something happens. But let's just wait this out and hope they move on. Fuck you! Oh. Fuck you! Fuck you! Jesus! Asshole. Okay. The world out here has gone to shit. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Here it is, St. John Family Dairy. Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? You betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. Ever have any accidents? Nah. It's safer here than out there. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He moves around a lot, but things the way they are, maybe we can convince him to stick around for a while. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? We all work together. Yeah, we're Plus not giving them an we've got them plenty in. of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Thanks for having us. We brought some gasoline on good faith. We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Oh, Amazing. Yummy. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybell will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What's she? We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Mark. Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come. For the day. Well, how about this? Mark. Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Yeah. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Bye, Carly. I don't like this. At something, something Mark, off. Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. Okay. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. Mark. It's got food. Don't get ahead of yourself. fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Uh... Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously, they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. 
Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. Yeah. Alright, I'll keep my eyes open and you find out what you can Cannot can't ever get too hopeful in a zombie in a zombie game. The last thing we want is cannibals. So what have you found out? Is this looking like a good place to stay? I'll keep looking around. All right, keep me posted. What's that? Generator. <laughs> you guys come along with gas just in time. Hey, uh, don't mess with that, okay? The thing's a little tricky, and I don't want to spend half a day trying to fix it again. Yeah. Andy. Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. You've been stockpiling, huh? Yeah, if you need some extra people to protect the dairy, you can count on us. Well, hopefully it'll never come to that, but thanks. Well, let's go fix Mark the perimeter. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it gets overloaded if we leave the husks out there. Okay. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. I don't remember... I don't remember this part of the game. I do, however, have like a weird, so daunting safe feeling. enough for us to stay? If we can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. What's up with you telling him what I said about him thinking I'm dangerous? Look, you said it. You even admitted it right to him. I try to be civil at least. He's too busy being cranky to notice. There's one. Yeah, please be careful. Ugh. Why does it have an arrow through it? Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Andy said when this fence is working, the walkers go up like a tree branch on a power line. If those lights are out, that means the fence is off, right? It better be. Disgusting. Come on. I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God. Can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? Uh, well, stuff, it's yeah. useless without gas. We might need food, but the St. John's need mm -hmm. gas, too. Not many drivers these days, Lee. We could scrounge up a year's worth of gas, easy. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. Yeah. What do you mean by that? I don't know. They seem decent enough. I just want you to know that I've got your back if anything goes down. That's all. Thanks. There's another one. I see it. Hold up. Man, the fence burned right into its hands. I think they fused together. Man, the fence burned right I didn't into mean to hands. pick that again. I think they fused together. Yeah. You never get used to the smell, do you? Not really. <laughs> nope. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Oh my god, Mark. Thanks for the rations earlier. It's not easy eating in front of the kids, but it's all that's keeping me on my feet right now. 
We'll go ask for more to eat after this is done. Hmm. All right, I can suck it up. Come on, Something I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> Fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. What the? Get to the gate. Get down. You asshole. Jesus. We got an agreement. Now you're fucked. Who the fuck is that? Had an no agreement? idea. Fuck. Now what? With the fence on, that gate is our only way out. Can't hide forever. Spins and back to the house. Ah! They're on the Shit, the house. Did you really think you could fuck with that? Yeah. Well, now we found out what's wrong. Behind the tractor! Can't lure me to yell me. What happened? Shit. The body, the it's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. I'm gonna have to move. Get closer! Where's our food, you asshole? Another one? How many of those things did we push down? Three. We had an agreement. Two, now technically. Over there. Oh my god. <laughs> out there holy shit are, are you okay bandits really. here on our property oh my lord what happened to you sweetheart it was those bastards in the woods mama yeah i'll be all right once it's out god damn it hurts hey y'all mark oh my god what happened he got shot with an arrow christ are you gonna be okay yeah uh, i'm fine lily i should just pull it out oh, oh no honey no, no, come no, no, on no. brenda's got you come on inside now We'll have you all sorted out. Well, you must be the best. What kind of shit is this? We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. 
I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhands. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. What you do about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it. Carly said this place was locked down tight. I don't know what Jesus, to say. Jesus, Lee. Say something. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Kenny. Oh, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Carly? Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Okay. Hey, uh, I remember seeing kids in your group, so I went ahead and fixed that swing while you were out. I hope your kids like swings. A swing! I love swings! Just like at my treehouse! Come on, Doc! Why don't you kids go and play on the swing, huh? Yeah! Thanks. Anytime. We're looking out for you. I... Something's not adding up. I'm not messing with the generator. That thing keeps a fence electrified. Yeah, but it turned off. If a couple of tools out in the open is as unsafe as it gets, we'll be fine here. Would have been nice to have one of these back at the motor end. Yeah. You can definitely tell they built this thing themselves. Looks like a feeding station for the cow. Oh. Yeah, I'm thinking a little. Lee, oh my god, I'm so glad you two didn't get killed out there. Do you think Mark will be okay? Wish I knew, but I think he's in good hands now. Yeah? It's not too bad? He'll be fine. I've seen guys go through worse. How could you all bring us to this place? I take it you and Kenny didn't exactly make up on the way here. I tried seeing things from his point of view, having a wife and kid and everything, but gambling with your family's life is pretty stupid if you ask me. Hey, thanks for backing me up this morning at the motel. I know I came down on you guys pretty hard, but you do agree with the way I'm running things, right? You're a good leader, Lover. Kenny's too emotional, but his intentions are in the right place. Still, it'd be best for all of us if you two could try to work together once in a while. I'm so glad there's no option to talk to him. Oh, that was a whiplash. Having a crop like that on hand must be great. We're gonna need to learn how to maintain it if we end up staying here. I don't think we're staying here. If there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in shifts. Mm -hmm. 
lots of hay. Uh, enough of these might work as adequate cover for Meryl's, if that becomes a problem. Not right. No, I think I already interacted with that. Wait. Hmm. Well, I'll bet they go through a lot of wood keeping those fences repaired. Anything interesting? I'm just trying to make sure this place is secure, in case we decide to make this a more long-term solution. Except for those people in the woods. Seems pretty safe. Good to know. Keep your ears open for anything else that might help us. Will do. Did Duck and Katja get here okay? No, well, it wasn't easy. Duck didn't look so good on the walk over to this place. Well, if everything works out, maybe he and Katja can have an easier life here. That's funny, considering you didn't seem too worried about Duck back at Herschel's farm. That's in the past, Kenny. A lot's happened since then. Are you kidding yeah, me, right. Kenny? How you holding up? I hope they feed us, Lee. Soon. On the way over here, I was getting dizzy. Hands shaking, cold sweats. Thought I was gonna pass out. They've got food here. Yeah, but I'm not just talking about one meal, you know? I guess, uh, Lily isn't too thrilled about being here? I could give two shits about what Lily wants. Duck and Katja need food, and I'm not about to sit around that motor inn and watch them go hungry. You're with me on this, right? Yeah, of course. Lily's judgment is clouded, but you got a pretty clear head about these things. Am I'm I- gonna go have a look Am around. I an agent Don't of chaos? Don't wait too long to help scope out that bandit camp. It'd be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about the St. John's and their relationship with those bandits or whatever. Yeah. Right. I'll see what I can find out. I'm gonna go to my daughter. Hey, Clem Clem. Hey, Clem. Do you like the swing? Yeah, it's fun. Be sure to tell Andy thank you, okay? I will. Will you push me on it? Yes. Yeah. Sure. Happy to push you on the swing. Mind if Clementine takes a turn? All right, Duck. Let Clementine have a try for a bit. Okay. Why did he look annoyed? How are you holding up, Clementine? I'm okay, I guess. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm just a little worried about Mark. Is Mark going to be okay? I don't know. Lucky out there. Could have been a lot worse. Are you going to find the people who hurt Mark? Well, we have to make sure they don't hurt anyone else. Be careful. I want you to stay lucky, too. Ever since I met you, I've had good luck, well. so don't worry. Okay. What do you think of the dairy? It's pretty. It reminds me of how things used to look before. Yeah, it does. Do you think things will ever get back to how they were? No. I'm not sure, Clint. I hope so. I hope so, too. Don't worry. We're safe here now. As long as the bad people don't get me too, right? I won't let what happened to Mark happen to you. Promise? Promise. promise. All right, Clem. That's enough for now. Okay. Thanks for pushing me. Of course. It's all yours. Yeah! Okay, Doug. Don't pop a gasket. Oh. I'm worried that they're not the people they say they are. Fellas, how you feeling, Lee? Look, I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. Yeah? No shit. You saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. 
Hell yeah. Who the fuck are these people in the woods? We don't know. I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Okay. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So are you ready to head out there and find their camp? Yeah. Yeah. It'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about what we're up against. Let's do it. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. Are you going now? Yeah. I'll be back soon, Clementine. Please be lucky. I will. I don't remember what happens here, and I'm... I'm worried. See anything? Not yet. I know it's around here. It's gotta be close. Oh shit, you found it? too small. It can't be their main base. That's what I was thinking. Take a look around anyway. There's probably some shit around here they stole from us. Nothing. Empty. They were moving a lot of stuff. What's in the boxes? They're all from save lots. The first few days they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. Anything worth taking? I don't know. This is too much stuff for just one person. Trust me, these selfish bastards don't stop taking. Probably just to remind us that it's theirs. Boxes from the dairy here. Probably a food we've been giving them. Fuckers cross the line. Open that box. What do you find? A video camera. Let me see that. Why? Battery's dead, though. Oh, good. What else they got over here? Let's see if we can find anything useful and then get a move on. I didn't like that. I see you handled that gun I lent you I pretty like well. That. You a hunter? No, but Lily keeps us all on a regular training schedule. Lily, huh? Sounds like she's running this democracy of yours. Gonna come out one way or another. Oh. I need batteries. 
Just water. If I get punched and left one more time, it's over. Looks like they expected to be here a while. Why? I'm checking everything. Where'd it go? up in this was more like uh, uh, don't you fucking move shit put your guns down I ain't going back you tell him Jolene ain't going back hey we had a deal no shooting as long as we gave you food what the fuck happened you had a deal with them. I ain't them. Oh, I know you. I know what you are. And I know what you do. You don't know me. Steal my shit. Steal everything from me. We had a deal. You people broke it first. We're looking for the people who attacked the dairy and shot my friend. I don't know where they are, but they ain't here. So get the fuck out of my camp. Why do you She's have some lying, Lee. Now, maybe you didn't hear me last time. When I asked you, sweet. Put your damn guns down! You think I won't kill you? I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice sharp arrow right through your eyeball. Into your goddamn brain. You're not men. You're monsters. All men are monsters. Take what they want and then destroy it all. Take a can of beans. Take a little girl. It's all the fucking same to you. Where did you get this hat? The little girl. You stole it from her! So what if I did? You stole her from me. Huh? What the hell are you talking about? You know what? I changed my mind. I'm putting this arrow right through your balls. Yeah, right through. String them up on that tree. Then I'm gonna head down to that farm and shoot every goddamn person I see. Enough! Y'all wave them guns like you're looking to die. Shit! What the hell'd you do that for? We had a deal with them. She stole Clementine's hat. Somehow she got past us. Crazy fucking women must have been inches away from that child. I just couldn't take a chance on that happening again. That sound cool to you? I ain't crying about it. I mean, I know she was crazy, but damn. <sighs> it's a clean shot, though. Right through the forehead. That's good shooting right there. Still, what a waste. So, that's it. We going back? If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. And it ain't a good idea to go tromping through the woods looking for them. So yeah, we head back. Once they see this, they'll get the message. I'm gonna feel bad about this later, aren't Come I? On. Why did she say that we stole Clem from her? 